Hi guys, today we'll talk about, failing to add a Wi-Fi point. Before we continue please give us a like and subscribe. Before calling your Google Wi-Fi support team, we can try to do this steps to check if it will help. This can also help us cut the amount of time spent talking to a representative. First, let's check the light of the Wi-Fi points that we're trying to add. If we have this kind of light on the Wi-Fi point, or if it has a yellow light, then we need to reset it. On Hub and Google Wi-Fi, we'll have the same reset steps, while Google Nest Wi-Fi router and Wi-Fi point will be different. For on Hub and Google Wi-Fi, recommended step for reset will be to unplug them from the power outlet, press and hold the reset button while pressing, plug it back to the power outlet. Once you have a steady blue light, let go of the button, wait for it to have a slow blinking blue light before trying to add it back. For Google Nest Wi-Fi router and Wi-Fi point, press the reset button until we have a steady yellow light. Wait for it to have a slow blinking white light, before trying to add it back. Google Wi-Fi app, if it's showing that we have a null or unknown Wi-Fi point, then we need to reset or remove it from the Google Wi-Fi app. Just a heads up, in most cases, if we have this error on the app, once we remove it, it will trigger an auto reset on the main Google Wi-Fi. We'll know that once we see a steady dark blue on the main Google Wi-Fi, that will then turn to slow blinking blue. If that happens, we need to clear the app or remove the main Google Wi-Fi point from the Google Wi-Fi app, then set it up again. We also need to manually reset the Wi-Fi point. If there are Wi-Fi points connected to the network already, then we also need to remove it on the app, manually reset it, then add it again, once the main Google Wi-Fi is back up and running. Here's how we can remove the unknown or null Wi-Fi point on the Google Wi-Fi app. Tap the four dots on your upper right. Then tap on Network Settings. Once on Settings, tap on Wi-Fi points. Then tap on the Wi-Fi point that we need to remove. And then, tap on Factory Reset. Confirm it by tapping on Reset again on the pop-up window.
Also, we need to consider the distance of the Wi-Fi point from the main Google Wi-Fi. It would be best to put it on the same room with the main one or as close as we can for the meantime, just while we're trying to add it so that it will be easier for the main one to detect and add it to the network. Once added, then we can move it around or put it where we want it to be. If the Wi-Fi point is close to the main Google Wi-Fi, but still can't be detected, we first need to try to turn the network off, including the modem, for 5 minutes. While the network is off, close the Google Wi-Fi app, make sure it's not running of the background. After 5 minutes, turn it back on starting with the modem. Once the modem is ready, turn on the main Google Wi-Fi, then the Wi-Fi point. Once we have a slow blinking blue light on the Wi-Fi point, then we can open the Google Wi-Fi app and try to add it again. Please take note, to make sure that your Bluetooth is on and that your mobile phone is connected to your Google Wi-Fi network before trying to add the Wi-Fi point. If in case it still won't detect, try to turn off Bluetooth, then try to add Wi-Fi point again, since Google representative will have us do this as well. In case that the app still unable to detect or add them then, we can try to do this steps. Take note, this steps will only work with on hubs, Google Wi-Fi and Google Nest router. It will not work with Google Nest Wi-Fi point. We can try to directly connect the Wi-Fi point on your active primary or main Google Wi-Fi using an Ethernet cable. Another way that we can do while the main Google Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi point is connected by an Ethernet cable is to connect to the Wi-Fi point's setup network, then try to add it that way. Just go to your phone settings Wi-Fi, check if you can see a setup network, if you do, then we'll connect to that setup network, password will be your setup code, you can see it underneath the Google Wi-Fi device near the setup name. Then open the Google Wi-Fi app, and try to add it. Just in case, if we don't see a setup network, on your phone settings Wi-Fi, try to reset the Wi-Fi point again. If still no setup network, then we can let the Google representative know that. After all these steps, and we're still unable to add the Wi-Fi point, then we can now call the Google Wi-Fi support. Just let them know what was done already, so that you'll just move forward from there. The rep will let us know if we need to do another step, or what will our next action.
that helps.